camaraderie, all the guys and hanging out. And uh, I, I remember one thing was kind of funny is that whoever owned a Suzuki always kind of grouped together and then guys with the Hondas and the Yamahas and then the, the others like Osas and uh, Pentons and stuff like that. It was kind of cool, but... Motocross. I remember motocross. I was in it for the checks. <laughs> God. They put us in the expert class so we would get points. Third place, that was my that was my game. And then he used to race with Chris Anderson. And, and you know what he did? He started winning. <laughs> That's it was over for me. I, I said, Chris is gonna start winning, I'm still in third place, it ain't gonna work. Uh, we were riding back from riding out in the hills and uh, we were coming down Watkins, which had been graded but wasn't paid. And uh, we're just riding along and all of a sudden there's the police helicopters overhead and he jumps on his PA telling us to stop our bikes immediately and get off of them and Ron politely has signaled him. <laughs> yeah, this is Helicopter Bob. Uh, I remember chasing you uh, motocross punks and I'll never forget how much you tortured me. Every night I had to live with the nightmares. And I never forget that uh, Rob Crandall, uh, I'll never forget that one. Anyway, 15 years later and I'll tell you, it's been a Paul hell of a Hoover, journey. Paul Hoover, please come to the security office. I gotta get back to work. Paul Hoover, please come to the security office. We didn't care what kind of bike we had. We didn't care the condition of it. All we wanted to do was get on that bike and twist the throttle. You know, of course we didn't have any jobs. You know, our parents had to buy the bike. You know, if the bike broke or we needed a tire or some parts, we had to go out and, you know, cut the lawn, wash some cars, deliver newspapers. We used to collect Coke bottles and turn them in for nickel apiece to collect gas just so we'd go out riding 